Hi everyone. It is temper paint time and I wanted to show you the correct way to use temper paint. This is Crayola washable temper paint. The color of this is magenta. Every paint has a label on the edge. And what you're going to do is just pop the cover, squeeze it in, and a little dab will do it. That's about the size that you need, not too much. I'm going to do it a few more times. Squeeze a little in, and again. Now, a trick. If you want to mix primary colors together, don't use red and don't use blue. Use turquoise and magenta. Turquoise and magenta are just mix better to make a prettier orange and a prettier green and a prettier purple. So here we go. When it's time to use temper paint, you could just dip the tip in. Notice I'm not dipping it, so I'm getting it on the handle or the brush and you could paint with it. Or you could mix the paint. Okay? I'm going to change colors. I'm going to dip my paintbrush in here and scrub it in the water. There's only a little bit of water in there. I don't need much. I'm going to scrape it off on the side and dry it on my paper towel. Now I'm going to mix some colors. This is what happens when you mix them on a color you already made on your paper. You could mix it that way, or rinse, 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 dry, dry, dry. You could mix it in your palette. You could take a little bit of one color, rinse, rinse, scrape to get extra water off dry, or you could mix it here on top of one of the wells of your palette till you get the color you like. That's a nice orange, and I'm going to paint that orange here. Looks like a red orange compared to a regular orange here. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Dry, dry, dry. And I'm going to mix two colors together. Rinse again. Making a purple. Now when it's time to clean out the tempera paint, I need to make sure I'm doing a really good job scrubbing off all of this palette. As you can see, other kids did not do the best job. There's still paint everywhere. Okay. But anytime you want to change a color, it's important that you rinse, 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 dry, 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 and then you can change your color. If you needed more paint, you can add more paint. That's totally fine, but I want you to start with a small amount of paint, and that way, if you needed more while you were painting, you can always add more, but it's really hard to put that paint back in the bottle. You don't want to waste all this nice temper paint that I have for the whole year. Oops, see, I didn't wash my brush out really well over there. So this is how you will be using your temper paint. And again, when it's time to clean it off, you can simply clean it using some water and some paper towels over the sink in the faucet and scrub it on out and clean it on out. Make sure it's nice and clean just like you're washing dishes at home. But you can always start at your seat by doing this. And then you need to clean off the rest with some more paper towels and water or right into the sink. And that is how you will be using your temper paint with the brush and your paint palette. Good luck. I can't wait to see how your artwork comes out.